Hey guys, we have been getting some questions on how to choose the right fixed blade for an everyday carry. And, and even honestly, some questions about why would you carry a fixed blade for every day versus like a folding knife. Obviously a folder is handy, a small fits in your pocket, but for a lot of people, an everyday carry is more about just self-defense. And why would you carry a fixed blade well, quite frankly, there's a lot of people that are doing a lot of work throughout the day in their jobs, maybe on the farm or on the ranch, where a fixed blade is something that they're gonna need. The question is, what kind of a knife should I carry for a fixed blade? And really the question actually comes back on you as to what are you gonna be doing with that fixed blade knife? Uh, what, what is your everyday carry, your EDC uh, job going to be? Are you gonna be somebody that's prying a lot? Are you super hard on a knife? You know, are you carving different stuff or prying open, prying open cans of things? You know, I, I know my dad, when he was, uh, you know, doing his excavation career, he was always using the knife to clean out grease zerks and he was always prying, scraping gaskets and stuff like that. So in that case, you're gonna need a heavier duty, stronger tip, stronger blade. Weight is gonna be a little bit less of a factor and strength is gonna be a bigger deal. Now, for me, and I think for most people, uh, you're using a knife uh, for just those little small tasks like opening boxes, opening mail, uh, just the little things that can come out throughout the day. And you're not going to want a heavy fixed blade uh, that's bulky and, and kind of in your way. So I personally love carrying our little mini goat knife right here. So uh, this, is, this is Henry's mini goat here, our videographer, and uh, he has his tails cut off on that. Uh, and that's one thing I tell people with the tails on these paracord knives. You can leave them longer if you decide you think you're going to need that, or you can just cut those tails all the way off or part way off, uh, depending on your needs. What I love about this little mini goat knife is the fact that you can carry it and you barely know it's there. In fact, when it's in your pocket, when it's in your front pocket, uh, it barely sticks out maybe a half inch out of your pocket. So. Uh, it's low profile, it's thin, it's light. Uh, Henry actually has the clip off of this, so he's keeping it in his pocket without even a clip on it. The other thing that we do offer, instead of our heavier or our larger belt clip, uh, modular kind of belt clip that we have for our hunting knives, is we actually carry a metal clip, a uh, pocket clip that goes on this knife and it goes on either side, left or right, uh, that just clips right over the pants pocket so you can carry this just like you do with a clip on a folding knife. Um, the other thing with these knives is we, with these sheaths actually, is they've got a retention screw so you can suck that screw down tighter or looser depending on if you're wanting really quick and easy access you can loosen it up. If you're worried about it coming out or losing it you can tighten it down as well. The other side of the, of the everyday carry quite frankly, is self-defense. You know, our Fieldcraft knife that we did with Fieldcraft Survival is a great little self-defense knife. It's got a hard handle, so you can do a little bit heavier work with it. It's got a little thicker blade, so as I was alluding to earlier, a little bit more prying, a little bit heavier use. Uh, that Fieldcraft Survival knife is great, and it actually has an inside the waistband sheath design with a metal clip on it, so you can actually kind of more conceal carry that knife. The other thing to consider when you're talking about EDC is blade length. It's not just blade length for your use, but it's actually blade length in reference to laws, your local, your state laws or your city laws more likely, and where you can carry a knife. Even like being careful about carrying a weapon like a knife into a courthouse, into a bar, you just have to be sure that the municipality that you're in, the town that you're in, that you know where you can carry your blade. A lot of the laws get a little bit funny on blade length. Sometimes the law will say up to three inches. Sometimes it'll th say three inches and under. Uh, so be careful about that. We actually made these, uh, these little mini goats under three inches long. And that way, I think they're like two and three quarter. And that way you can be safe to carry it where that you're in that fuzzy three inch blade length range. So check out your local laws. Uh, and be aware, make sure you're not getting yourself in trouble. W the last thing I'm gonna add about the mini goat for an everyday carry is the fact that it's got paracord wrapped on this knife. So you can actually take this paracord off and use it if you need rope throughout the day, if you're doing something and all of a sudden you're in a bind and you need some rope, you can take this rope off, 
You can use it and you can get different rope or send it to us and we'll rewrap it for you. So that's the everyday carry knife. That's why I like carrying a fixed blade. I like to be able to have that blade length to have it be a little bit more sturdy uh, than a pocket knife, uh, less working parts, less things to go wrong. And it's very quick to deploy. When you pull that out, that blade is out and ready to go. So again, a few reasons I like a fixed blade. Uh, choose, choose your fixed blade wisely. Uh, maybe you need a couple different knives for different tasks, depending on what you're doing. Maybe a weekend knife and a work knife during the week. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one.